Warwickshire made good progress with the bat on the second day of their LV County Championship match with Northamptonshire at Wantage Road. After the home sides, Rob Newton just failed to get to the best score of his career, something Sam Hain was able to do later on. Newton began the morning on 108, made out of his side score of 297 for 8, but the innings was completed in 33 balls. Ollie Stone edged Chris Wokes to Will Porterfield just after the 300 had been made. While Newton's fine knock ended on 114, six short of beating his best, when he was caught at long on off Chris Wright. Northamptonshire were all out for 312, with Wokes to pick up the bowlers, with figures of four for 87. 312 was one of Northamptonshire's better efforts with the bat this summer, but they now needed to make Newton's innings count by grabbing some early wickets with the ball, something they were unable to do with Varen Chopra, freed from the captaincy due to the return of Jim Troughton, looking good from the off. At the other end was Porterfield, a man who's hit some decent form in the last few weeks. He also looked comfortable against Morris Chambers, as he and his partner took 81 runs off the first 23 overs. The last time the home side bowled, they watched Yorkshire's openers kick an innings off with a stand of 375. This time Warwickshire had to settle for 81, which was made in between a couple of breaks for rain, as Porterfield fed James Middlebrook a catch in the slips off Stephen Crook after making 32. It was the start of a good spell for the home attack. Middlebrook came on and found some drift and the edge of Chopra's bat to see the back of the batsman for 47. Laurie Evans was then beaten in the flight and stumped by Ben Duckett on six to leave the batting side on 102 for three. Middlebrook was threatening and so Troughton, in his first innings of the summer, tried to unsettle the spinner by driving him over the top for a six. That saw Stephen Peters give Matt Spriegel a try instead, but when he dropped in short, Troughton was quickly endangering the man at short leg. At the other end, Hayne also pulled a short ball, this time all the way, as Warwickshire went to tee on 149 for three and trailing by 163 runs. So the last session of the day was going to be an important one for Northamptonshire, who needed wickets. Andrew Hall was convinced that he got the one of Hayne with an LBW. It must have been close, but Hayne survived on 30 and he and his captain then continued to develop what was a crucial partnership for their team. With respect to Northamptonshire, it's getting to the point where some sides are expecting to beat them, and Warwickshire will have known the importance of a good first innings lead in order to do that. Both these two batsmen completed their half centuries. Troughton was picking up the pace of his knock, hitting three fours off a single chambers over, the first of which took him to his 50 off 75 balls. He was dealing largely in boundaries by now, in an innings he would have been delighted with after so much time on the sidelines. For the 18-year-old Hayne, it was an even better moment. After facing 115 deliveries, from which he'd hit four fours and a six, he got to a 50 for the first time in his first-class career, this being just his fifth innings. It was a nice moment for him, but there was still more to come. He took his partnership with Troughton to 138, which had been made in 38 overs together. Before the Warwickshire skipper, Top to sweep off Middlebrook to be caught by Peters. Troughton departed for a pleasing 69, made out of a score of 240 for four. In the remaining 13 and a half overs of the day, Hayne advanced to 87, which may leave him with a slightly restless night. He can be very proud of his efforts. When you're down, you often don't get the rub of the green and Hall will have wondered what on earth this was missing at the end of the day. Tim Ambrose was the lucky man. So he will still be there on day three to support his young partner who will have a dream or two about raising his bat again on the third morning. Warwickshire go into the day on 274 for four and that leaves them only 38 runs behind with six first innings wickets in hand.